So you play action hero PC Joe Marshall. What can you tell us about her? I like that action hero. I'm going to demand that. Yeah. that in front of all my <laughs> she characters. Is, though. Now she really is an action in. hero. So she, so Joe is a police officer and a very good one. And uh, she's grown up in this community and she really cares about it. And she's the kind of person that will just throw herself in. I think she doesn't have that filter of self-preservation. And that's what you see at the opening of the episode. She kind of just jumps straight in, literally, to the flood <laughs> to save this baby. And then this mystery starts to unfold and she just can't help herself but kind of pull at the tiger's tail. You know, she gets an inkling and she just has to follow it with sort of bad, sort of... Uh, bad consequences. Mm. You know, like being in, in, in the position as police officer and it being kind of around the floods and everything, I'm guessing like everything you have to do has to be kind of like legit. Somebody watching it has to go, well, that's how you would act in that type of situation. Did you have flood training? We didn't have any flood training. They did just sort of launch us straight into the water and said, try not to, <laughs> try not to sink. <laughs> but we did have an amazing woman on set with us, Lisa, who's a sort of a police advisor. And she would be there telling us, well, this is what you would do yeah. if this was really happening. And this is how you do da everything down to how you wear your uniform and how you would respond. How do you search your body? So she was sort of invaluable when I was coming in to do my police acting and getting it <laughs> slightly <laughs> wrong. Well, I mean, there's so much realism in this show and that goes for the sets as well, which are so realistic. How did they create these scenes of a flooded town? It's amazing what they did, actually, because you read it in the script, you know, it says she walks down the flooded street and you think, well, <laughs> how, where, you know? So they were incredible. They built, essentially, a really big paddling pool. <laughs> I'm sure it was called something more technical than that. So these but aren't they, houses? Those aren't real houses? This is all the fake fronts. So <gasps> it was this huge tank in a car park. Mm. Um, and then they built the facades of the houses. And But they went to so much detail. There were shops, you know, and there were sort of items in the street. There were cars turned over. And then they filled it with water. And then they just Nice, nice and warm, the water, I'm guessing. Though, it yeah. was not warm at all. <laughs> it was not warm. And I think it was March when we were doing it. Mm. And the way that it was built, it sort of became this wind tunnel. So it was, uh, it was freezing cold. We we did have one quite nice balmy day where our DP came along with the camera in a little rowboat and he looked to be having quite a nice I time. I bet he was nice. <laughs> yeah. um, now, away from the floods, there is a murder to solve. <clears throat> and like, how does your character, Joe, get kind of... You mentioned she kind of like pulls at, pulls at the tiger's tail, but how, how does she get so involved in the investigation? So, so Jo is pregnant, we know that quite early on in the series, and she kind of, I think anyone that's been pregnant will relate to that feeling of the sand time has been turned over and there's this date on the horizon and she's desperate to start her detective's training. And I think she just thinks, if I can prove myself, I've got a hunch, if I can just solve this, if I can prove myself, I can go away and have my baby and come back and be taken seriously. So there's this kind of slightly reckless, relentless energy to her. And again, she doesn't have that filter. So where most of us would go, oh, no, 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 mm. <laughs> oh, stop there. Don't, don't, you know, turn over that rock. She doesn't have that. So she just steams through. It's what makes her quite an unusual protagonist yeah. in that she, way. She is. She's so interesting to watch. And you've got the fantastic chemistry with your on-screen husband, which is probably not surprising, as he's played by your real-life partner. <laughs> Matt, what was it like working <laughs> together? Well, I always say you probably have to ask Matt. I mean, I had a lovely time, but <laughs> I don't know. It was, it's a strange one to... to you know, play opposite your partner, but lovely because often, you know, you, you do these jobs and you go into the makeup trailer in the morning and you say, hi, I'm Sophie, I'm your wife. And you've got, you know, an hour to kind of build up some rapport with someone. So whether it's your partner or a friend or someone you've worked with, it's nice when there's history there. Was but it fun doing the on-screen marital discord? Because there's a bit of bickering. There is. <laughs> and actually, he did tell me off. He said that one day we had this huge fight scene and we got back home and normally we just leave it all there, but apparently I was slamming cupboard doors and I was in a bit of a huff. And he said, you know, we didn't have a row today. You know, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I, could spill over. I was I like, I think I am annoyed at you about that. <laughs> but mainly, it was great, you know. And, and just...